With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Here we have this question: A stone tied at an end of a string of 80 cm long is whirled in a horizontal circle with a constant speed. If the stone makes 14 revolutions in 25 seconds, what is the magnitude of acceleration of the stone so here we can see that this is a case of a uniform circular motion right let's say that this is the path of the stone when it is tied to a um, string right and the uh, length of the string is given as 80 cm this means the radius will be equal to 80 cm right therefore in si units r will be equal to 0.8 meters Okay, this is the radius given. Um, we are given 14 revolution in 25 seconds. So from here we can calculate the frequency, and using that we can calculate the angular velocity that will that is equal to 2 pi nu, right? Um, and from angular velocity we will have the acceleration. Okay, so that means the acceleration is given by r omega square, right? Let's say this is equation one. This is equation two. Now here the stone takes twenty five seconds to complete fourteen revolutions, right? Twenty five seconds for fourteen revolutions. Okay. Um. So in one second, how many revolutions it will take? Fourteen by twenty five. Right. So fourteen by twenty five will be the frequency. New frequency that will equal to fourteen by twenty five second inverse. Therefore, angular velocity omega that will be equal to omega is equal to two pi uh, multiplied by new is fourteen by twenty five, right? Fourteen by twenty five. Therefore, it will be equal to two into I can write pi is equal to twenty two by seven. Multiplied by fourteen by twenty-five, right? Two. So omega will be equal to um two to the four, four to the eight. That will be eighty-eight by twenty-five. So this will be equal to three point five two radian per second. Okay. So now to calculate the magnitude of acceleration, right? We have omega from equation one, so we'll uh, put this value in equation two and put the radius that is zero point eight, and we'll get the acceleration. Therefore, acceleration centripetal acceleration that will be equal to r that is zero point eight into omega square. Omega is three point five two, three point five two squared. Therefore, the acceleration will come out to be 9.9 meter per second square. Okay, so the correct option will be option four. For class six to twelve, ITG and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.